So, good day. Welcome to my class. And for today, we're going to talk about the literature. Let's start. If we're going to define literature, when we say literature, it's a Latin word which means litera. When we say litera, it's a letter. This is a body of literary productions, either oral, written, or visual, containing imaginative language that realistically portrays thoughts, emotions, and experiences of the human condition. Once again, literature comes from the Latin term litera, which means letter. Literature is any printed matter written within a book, a magazine, or a pamphlet. Literature deals with ideas, thoughts, and emotions of men. Literature can be said to be the story of men. Now, what's the importance of literature? The importance of literature is studying literature is like looking at the mirror of life where man experiences his innermost feelings and thoughts are reflected. Literature, we learn the culture of people across time and space. And at the same time, we understand not only the past life of a nation but also its present. And that is the importance of literature. Now there are different there are two types major types of literature. The first one is the prose. When we say prose or prosa, which means straightforward. It consists of written works within a the common flow of conversations presented in a straightforward manner. So the first type of prose we do have the word novel. When I say novel, this is a long narrative divided into chapters. The events may be taken from a true-to-life stories and spans for a long period of time. There are many characters involved in a novel. For example, the Harry Potter, the Twilight. So those are the example of novel. And at the same time, the Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and at the same time, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Short story. When we say short story, this is a narrative involving one or more characters, one plot, and one single impression. For example, of short story, we have The Necklace by Guy de Maupassant, and at the same time, The Last Leaf by O. Henry. Plays. When we say plays, this is presented on a stage and at the same time divided into acts and each act has many scenes. For, ex for example, the award-winning best musical right now, we call it The Lion King and at the same time The Le Miserable. Legends. When we say legends, these are fictitious narratives, usually about origins, and it provides historical information regarding the culture and views of particular group of people or country. For example, of legend, the Biko legend, the legend of pineapple, or alamat ng pinya, and it can be the legend of makahiya. Folk tales. When we say folk tales, it's a traditional narrative, usually anonymous and handed down orally. For example, folk tales, The Adventure of One, The Hawk and the Hen, The Fairy Tales. And at the same time, we do have the fables. When we say fables, these are also fictitious and they deal with animals and inanimate things who speak and act like people. Their purpose is to enlighten the minds of children to events that can mold their ways and attitude. For it, always remember for fables, the characters are usually or always the animals. For example, fables, we have the Aesop's fables or the lion and the mouse. Myths. When we say myths, is this is a traditional sacred stories, typically revolving around the activities of gods and heroes, which aim to explain a natural phenomenon or a cultural practice. The example of myth that we have here, the story of Cupid and Psyche, or this is more on the Greek mythology. And at the same time, the fall of Troy, the myth and creation, especially in Tagalog. Next, anecdotes. When we say anecdotes, these are merely products of the writer's imagination and the main aim is to bring out lesson to the reader. Always remember, an anecdote is to bring out the lesson to the readers. For example, The Moth and the Lamp by Dr. Jose Rizal. 
the best advice I ever had. Next, essay. When we say essay, this is the most common type of prose. This expresses the viewpoint or opinion of the writers about a particular problem or event. The best example of this is editorial page of a newspaper. And at the same time, those famous essay we have here is Of Studies by Francis Bacon and at the same time On Doors by Christopher Morley. For biography is biography is more on deals with the life of a person which may be about himself, his autobiography or that of others. For example, Cayetano Arellano written by Socorro Albert. News. When we say news, this is a report of everyday events in society, government, science and industry, accidents and many others, or that is happening nationally or not. Oration. When we say oration, this is a formal treatment of a subject and is intended to be spoken in public. It appeals to the intellect, to the will, or the emotions of the audience. Example of orations we have here is because of what we are and what we, be with what we believe. And at the same time, I have a dream by Martin Luther King. And now, let's proceed now to the second types of literature, is the poetry. When we say poetry, it is an imaginative awareness of experience expressed through meaning, sound, and rhythmic language choices as to evoke emotional response. The first type of poetry that we have here is the narrative poetry. When we say narrative poetry, this form describes important events in life, either real or imaginary. Epic. When we say epic, it is an extended narrative about heroic exploits. So remember, heroic exploits. And their supernatural control, it may deal with heroes and gods. The hero or heroine usually has the following characteristics. Idealism. Courage, wisdom, beauty, endurance, chivalry, and justice. There are two, two kinds of epic poetry. The popular or ancient epic, often without a definite author and is of slow growth. And at the same time, the other one is the modern epic, epic with a definite author. So here are the most or the best example of epic. The oldest epic that we have here is the Beowulf. And at the same time, here in Philippine Philippines, the epic that we have here is Biag Nilam Ang. Metrical Tales. Where do we say metrical tales? This is a narrative which is written in verse and can be classified either as a ballad or metrical romance. Example of this are sample idols or home tales, love tales, tales of the supernaturals, or tales written for, written for strong moral purposes in a verse form. So metrical tales, love tales, tales. For example, of metrical tales that we have here is The Lady of Shallot by Lord Alfred Tennyson. Next, the ballads. Ballads considered as the shortest and simplest of the narrative poems. It has a simple structure and tells of a single incident. Always remember ballads. You want to say ballad? It has simple structure and tells single incident. There are different variations of ballads. We have love ballads, war ballads, sea ballads, humorous moral, historical, or mythical ballads. The example of ballad that we have here is The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Here is another example, The Ballad of a Mother's Heart by Jose La Villa Tierra. Let's read. The night was dark, for the moon was young, and the stars were asleep and rare. The clouds were thick, yet youth went out to see his maiden fair. Dear one, he pleaded as he knelt before her feet in tears. My love is true. Why you have kept me waiting all these years? Maiden, look at him, unmoved it seemed, and whispered low. Persistent youth, you have to prove by deeds. Your love is true. There is nothing a thing I will not do for you, beloved, said he. Then go, said she, to your mother dear and bring her heart to me. 
Without another word, Hugh left and went to his mother dear. He opened her breast and took her heart, but he did not shed a tear. Then back to his maiden fair, he ran unmindful of the rain, but his feet slipped and fell down, and loud he groaned with pain. Still in his hand he held the prize that would win his maiden's hands, but he thought of his mother dear, so kind, so sweet, so fond, and then he heard a voice, not from his lips, but all apart. Get up, it said. Were you her child? It was his mother's heart. That's the example of Ballad by Jose Levilla Terra, Ballad of a Mother's Heart. Now we have the lyric poetry. When we say lyric poetry, it originally refers to the kind of poetry meant to be sung to the accompaniment of a lyre. But now this applies to any type of poetry that expresses emotions and feelings to the poet, and they are usually short, simple, and easy to understand. The first types of lyric poetry that we have here is the folk songs or awiting bayan. When we say folk songs or awiting bayan, the these are short poems intended to be sung. The common theme is love, despair, grief, doubt, joy, hope, and sorrow. Next, we have the sonnet. This is a lyric of poem of 14 lines dealing with an emotions, a feeling, or an idea. There are two types, the Italian and the Shakespearean. Always remember sonnets has a 14 lines and the two types are Italian and Shakespearean. For example of sonnet, we have here By the Creek by Paul McCann. Let's read. I escaped down the creek today. I lost my way and wish you would come. I sat down on the cross in the sun. In the silence, I began to pray. In the water, some stepping stones lay where my reflections just had begun. Your presence I felt had overcome. I was not lost and alone that day. I walked away and stood on a stone. In the water, I saw the blue sky. You came to me in a quiet place. In reflective prayer, I'm not alone with the sound of water flowing by. On stepping stones, I walk in God's grace. As you can see, this is an example of sonnet by Paul McCann and the title is By the Creek. Next, the elegy. When we say elegy, this is a lyric poem which expresses feelings or grief and melancholy and whose theme is death. Alright, so we, did, we dedicate the poem or the elegy for the death. For example, Angie. No one knows what really happened to her. All they know that she was good and dead. Some people say it was foul play. Some people say it was nothing wrong in her head. But then, I began to have these weird dreams about her, some beautiful, some horrible. But how do we know what's real and what's a fantasy when Angie's not here to tell? And that is the example of Elegy, whose theme is death. Next, number four, Oda. When we say Oda, this is a poem of a noble feeling expressed with dignity with no definite number of syllables or definite number of lines in a stanza. For example, Oda to Sir Lucius Gray and Sir H. Mauricio Ben Johnson from 1572 up to 1637. Let's read. It is not growing like a tree. In bulk, doth make a man better be. Standing long an oak, thirty hundred yet to fall a lock at last. Dry, belled, and sear, a lily of a day, is fairer far. In May, although it fall and die that night, it was the plant and flower of light. In small proportions, which is beauty cease, and in short measure, life may perfect be. Next. We have here Psalms. Psalms, this is a song praising God or the Virgin Mary and containing philosophy of life. Psalms usually located in the Bible. For example, the most famous Psalms. We have the Psalms 23 and let's read it. This is coming from the Bible. Psalms 23. 
a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is a good example of Psalm from Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. Next, Awit, or in Tagalog, we call it song. These have the measure of 12 syllables, dodescasyllabic, and slowly sung to the accompaniment of a guitar or banduri. For example, Florante at Laura by Francisco Balagtas. Let's read. O pagsintang labis na kapangyarihan, sampung mag-aamay iyong nasasaklaw, pag ikaw ang nasok sa puso ni naman, hahamakin ang lahat masunod ka lamang. Next, Corridos. When we say Corridos, these have measure of eight syllables or octosyllabic. Always remember, Corridos have eight syllables and recited to a martial beat. The songs are often about oppressions, daily life of peasants, and other socially important informations. For example, we have the Ibong Adarna, Sagot sa Panalangin. Diyos ngay di natutulog. At ang tao'y sinusubok. Ang salary sinusunog, ang banal ay kinukupkop. Next, we have the dramatic poetry. When we say dramatic poetry, this is an emotional piece of literature which includes a story which is recited or sung. Soliloquy and dramatic monologues are the main instrument of these forms of poetry. For example, comedy. We have the comedy. This word comes from the Greek term komos, which means festivity or revelry. This is form usually is light and written with the purpose of amusing and usually has a happy ending. For example, Daddy Fell Into the Pond, a poem by Alfred Noyce. Let's read. Everyone grumbled. The sky was gray. We had nothing to do and nothing to say. We were nearing the end of a dismal day, and then there seemed to be nothing beyond. Then Daddy fell into the pond, and everyone's face grew merry and bright, and Timothy danced for sheer delight. Give me the camera, quick, oh quick! He is crawling out of the duckweed. Click. That's the example of comedy. Next one, we have the melodrama. When we say melodrama, this is usually seen in musical play with the opera. Today, this is related to the tragedy just as the farce to comedy and at the same time arouses image and intense emotions and is usually sad but there is a happy ending for the principal character. For example, Annabelle Lee. Let's read. It was many and many a year ago. In a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child, and she was a child. In this kingdom by the sea, but we love with a love that was more than love in I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. That's the example of Annabelle Lee. Or, we call it the mellow drama. Next one, we have the tragedy. Involves a hero struggling mightily against dynamic forces and he meets death or ruin without success and satisfaction obtained by the protagonist in a comedy. Example of tragedy that we have here, the most famous, we have the Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet by William Shakespeare. Farce. When we say farce in an exaggerated comedy, it seeks to arouse merit by laughable lines. Situations are too ridiculous to be true. The characters seem to be caricatures, emotive, and dignified, and absurd. We also have the social poems, the most famous nowadays. This form is either purely comic or tragic, and its picture is the life of today. It may aim to bring about changes in the social conditions. 
for example, of the literary compositions that have influence in the world. So we have here the Bible, all their sacred writings. So the Bible has become the basis of Christianity originating from Palestine and Greece. We have the Quran, the Muslim Bible, the Muslim Bible originating from Arabia. And at the same time, the third one is the Iliad and the Odyssey. These have been the source of myths and legends of Greece. They were written by Homer. And at the same time, the fourth one is the Mahabharata, the longest epic of the world. It contains the history of religion in India. Always remember those the literary composition that influence from the world. And at the same time, we have here the Canterbury Tales. It depicts the religion and customs of the English in the early days. And at the same time, Canterbury Tales originated from England and was written by Geoffrey Chaucer. And at the same time, we have here the sixth one is the Uncle Tom's Cabin, written by Harriet Beecher Stowe of the U.S. This depicted the sad fates of slaves and become the basis of democracy in the United States. And at the same time, we have here the Divine Comedy by the Dante of Italy that shows the religion and customs of early Italians. We also have here the El Cid Compiador. When we see El Cid Compiador, shows the cultural characteristics of the Spaniards and their national history. Next, the num number nine is the Song of Rolando. This includes Doce Pares and Roncesvalles of Frances. It tells about the golden age of Christianity in France. And next one is from the Egypt. We call it the Book of the Dead. It includes the cult of Iris and the mythology and theology of Egypt. We have the Book of the Days. This was written by Confucius in China. And last one, we have the 1001 Nights or the Arabian Nights. From the Arabia or Persia or nowadays we call it the Iran, it shows way of governments of industries and the society of the Arabs and Persians. All right, so that's our lesson for today. Thank you for listening.